Okay, you're going to start by powering on your R10 or R12, and then that should start broadcasting out a Wi-Fi signal. So on your laptop, go to your network connection settings and connect up to the Wi-Fi network that it's broadcasting out. Typically, it will be indicated by uh, Trimble GNSS and the last four digits of the serial number. So we want to connect up to the GNSS Wi-Fi. And once you're connected to Wi-Fi, you're then going to open a web browser and you're going to go to the appropriate IP address, which is 192.168.142.1. This is the page that brings you to the web user interface. It should launch and show something similar to this, where you'll then need to enter in a username and password by default. The username is admin and the password is password. Now, if you've reassigned a username and password, you'll want to type that in appropriately at this moment. So if you have forgotten your uh, password, you can do a hard reset on the receiver, which is uh, to hold the power button down for 30 seconds. That will reset the receiver and then you can um, log in with the default username and password, which again is admin, and then the password is password. Um, if you are on a certain version of firmware, it will then ask you to uh, change your password. So I'm going to do that now. Old password is password. New password, I'm going to type something in. And update that and save those settings okay so now that we're in the web UI we can take a look under receiver configuration and let's take a look at the, um, the summary page you can see your firmware version at the bottom and everything what we want to do is add in our uh, configuration code. So under receiver status, you're going to look at receiver options. So this is going to show you all the options that are enabled on the receiver. And so to enable RTX, we're going to type in the option code here at the bottom. And so with the option code typed in here at the bottom, simply click the install option button and that will install the option and give you that feature on the receiver. Once that's completed, you can just exit out of the web UI and then um, get to work.